And with that extra floor, we could have more classrooms and another gym. Okay, thank you, Molly, for that presentation on why our school should be taller. Uh, we'll definitely think about it. All right, we have one final performance in our assembly here today. Now, sadly, the magician that was going to teach you about the dangers of jaywalking couldn't make it. No! I know, but we're very lucky that an amazing backup was available instead. They are a feminist theater ensemble that performs feminist monologues at 11 p.m. at an underground bookstore that serves Moscato. I wouldn't take you to that show, <laughs> but I invited them to do an age-appropriate version for you guys, and we are thrilled. So without further ado, Fembox. Hot and wet, my source of life. Soft place to land for his member. My elbow blossomed, hairy and magical. Touching my elbow at night, playing, learning. My elbow is my own. I only have one elbow. She only has one elbow? Oh, God. What's with kids these days waxing their elbows, yeah? In my day, we didn't even know what an elbow was till our wedding night. And then you thought, whoa, that thing's got a mind of its own. Huh? They're talking about their elbows, but they're pointing to their laps. Hey, tough girls got elbows too, okay? Mine's like a Chevy Bel Air. It's got a glaze on it like a cream donut. Smells like WD-40. And you know what? You know who loved it? Every man I ever met. I thought you said they could change their material. I guess they changed it as little as humanly possible. Our elbows, they birth our babies. They please our men. They gush the blood of life. Do they? Secret powers between my thighs, my charisma, my juice, my joy, my fruits, my secret South Carolina, my beautiful elbow. That didn't even rhyme. These old ladies are messed up. For the longest time, I was afraid to look at my elbow in the mirror. The other day, I decided to do it just off the cobwebs. I thought, whoa, this thing's huge. And you know what? It ain't half bad. My mom has big elbows, too. That's great, Molly. 1978. Once I found my elbow, I was rubbing it against everything. The bus, the sofa, air conditioners, and every pillow in Poughkeepsie. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, my God, they're not even trying. Do I have a bad elbow? Yeah, I'm not sure this applies to you, Curtis. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. I figured out what they're talking about. Why do we come up with other names just to avoid saying elbow? Gash, critter, slit. See you next Tuesday. That's so much worse. <laughs> Critter. We're not going to pay them, right? No, they didn't ask for money just to use our library. None of them have printers. I love my elbow just the way God gave it to me. That's actually a pretty good message. I told my husband, look, this is the elbow you married. This is the elbow you're going to get. And it's not like you're going to win any prizes for your four-inch flaccid dog. Right. Yeah, never mind. It's fine. The parents actually had no problem with the penis content. Everybody in this room, you either have an elbow or you came from an elbow. Whether yours is big or small, a grilled cheese or a sloppy Joanne, it's about confidence. Confidence. Because when you love yourself, that's right, you're going to be surrounded by love. You sure are. You are going to have love up to your vaginas. Okay, we are done. Sorry, guys, that was not appropriate at all. That, that was actually pretty empowering. Elbows, elbows, elbows.